There are no shortcuts. Now, that is not something that people want to hear or get to hear very much in the fitness industry. But when you're going to altitude, knowing that can mean the massive difference between having a fantastic adventure, getting to where you want to go, really, really enjoying the process, or feeling miserable, getting sick, or even worse, you know, getting chopped back down the mountain, etc. So, what do I mean by there are no shortcuts? Getting to altitude is all about building our aerobic engine. It is about building aerobic capacity, trekking and mountaineering, what we call submaximal disciplines. Since you're just doing one thing over and over again at a submaximal level, and that level is an oxidative process. Okay, so it's an aerobic process. So if you're going out and doing just thinking, oh, okay, well, look, I haven't got the time to spend doing that. I'm just going to do three hit classes a week. Hit classes are what we call a glycolytic process. So that's really, that's sugar burning. And that is short, hard, and intense. And in actual fact, in many ways, that is detraining our aerobic capacity. That is making it harder for us to burn fat as fuel because it's teaching us to burn sugar as fuel and to burn go up to burn glycogen as fuel which is getting from sugars the trouble is building aerobic capacity it takes time you know it does it takes every weekend getting out doing a big hike during the week doing some shorter hikes some runs like i am now you've got to get the volume in there's no other way to do it this has been shown time after time after time and occasionally there is somebody who is an outlier who might be as big as a house and as strong as an ox and who spends their whole time crossfitting or, or something like that and they get up to altitude and do really really well that's more by luck than by anything else we know that endurance is built around aerobic capacity and building aerobic capacity takes time. So please remember, if you're at 5,000 meters, altitude doesn't care whether you're a busy CEO or a hectic entrepreneur or a, a frazzled mum that's only got three hours a week to work. It's a matter of priorities. You've got to find the time. You've got to work it in. And there are ways to do that if you want to optimize your training for going to altitude.